So well, William Morris's house in London. Um, anyway, he was so astonishing. Born in um, 1834 in Walthamstow, so that's just north of London. Um, uh, well, it was considered part of London though, these days. His father was a highly successful financier. They had a large house, but they later moved to Epping Forest, the northwest edge of London. And so he spent very happy days wandering around uh, the woods there, which is, is what inspired him for life. I suppose that's why um, uh, Sylvan Glade, Flora and Fauna, um, filled so much of his oeuvre, whether written or uh, visual. Um, he was an amateur ornithologist, and you'll see birds as a leitmotif in everything he did, whether it was wallpaper or even, or even in poetry quite a lot. Uh, so yeah, William Morris Society, and he was a printmaker as well as an embroiderer, makes tapestries. You see the wonderful things he printed. And um, wow, the illustration, the female nude. And then Jane Burden, his wife, was um, she was a model he met through that. So one of the things that they he used to print on the headquarters of the William Morris Society, which is found as after his death to extend his work. So it was sort of the, av the, the, the vanguard of the socialist movement. He'd been a liberal, uh, but then he later joined the um, uh, the Eastern Question Association, as in to oppose British policy, which was pro-Ottoman and anti-Russian in Eastern Europe and the Near East, saying that um, you know that, that the Ottoman Empire is oppressive, carrying out many large-scale massacres in Bulgaria. We simply can't have that. Um, and uh, uh, so Tories supported for a while. Uh, sorry, the Liberals supported that attitude for a while then withdrew their support to join the Social Democratic Federation. He wrote so much for Common Wheel, which was their, which was their magazine, Common Wheel, as in the common good, that which is a benefit to the public. Um, so he was also a very uh, desired speaker, um, addressing many socialist uh, meetings all over the United Kingdom. This is Kelmscott House in London, but he also had Kelmscott Manor in Oxfordshire, and he often took a boat between the two. Uh, so he knew so many people who were um, radicals in the late 19th century, Sidney Webb, Beatrice Webb, uh, George Bernard Shaw, um, William Butler Yeats, uh, other writers. He's part of the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood. Though he wasn't one of its, he wasn't one of its founding members. It was founded in 1848 at the, the house of um, John Everett Millet, um, and a few others joined. Edward Burne Jones, Dante Gabriel Rossetti, a woman, uh, William Holman Hunt, uh, and many more. So uh, he, he later joined it and they had various principles, the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, of making things obviously that were beautiful and rejecting things which are stylized, making things were useful. Um, so William Morris set up his furniture making company, Morris & Co, which had offices on, well, a shop on, on Oxford Street and was going until the Second World War when it finally folded. So he married Jane Burton, who became a um, prominent figure in her own right, or mainly supporting Irish Home Rule. He had two daughters with her, and one of his daughters was um, a well-known um, embroiderer as well. Um, so he indeed died in this house, uh, um, William Morris, in 1896. So in his 62 years, he managed to accomplish a great deal more than many people would in, in a few lifetimes. So he was a man of so many talents, and the gamut of his talents uh, was across several fields. Uh, his endeavours included poetry as well as printmaking, uh, painting, prose, journalism, and um, being a, a socialist activist. So the William Morris Society exists for the furtherance of the aims for which he, he strove, which is to say artistic excellence and uh, social justice. So they had um, various um, ideals, liberty, fraternity, equality, being the motto of the Social Democratic Federation taking part in protests, and the society is taking part in left-wing protests to this day. Well, that's probably enough about William Morris Society.